Hello guys and welcome back to another video here, it's me Speed Gaming, and in today's video we are going to do what if Guatemala made an empire. Now they are first going to of course build up their army as always, then they are going to declare war on the United States of America, I'm just kidding, Belize. And they are pushing in. And for you guys who are wondering, probably zero people. I, for the longest time, thought that Beli Feliz Navidad was Belize Navidad. Well, it, it is not. I found it out. I I don't know when I found it. I have probably a couple of years ago, and still remember to this day. But also, I just found out that I have a lot of viewers from Cambodia. Uh, yeah, by the way, they are attacking, you know, El Salvador. They probably found my uh, video about Cambodia, and one of them, uh, I don't know exactly who, I'm not going to find out because I have the YouTube studio on the screen. Now, they said Kamai Kam Empire, and I completely forgot that Cambodia used to go by the Kam Kamai Empire. Well, we went by Kamai before. It. I think it still. I think it still does. I. I don't remember, but you know. I. I am. I could go back and make remake the video, but I'm not going to do that. I'm pretty sure they did not ask me to do that either. You know, it's good to get a little, um, a bit more. A few more names, so in case I ever make a little uh, what if uh, like world thing of this world term tournament, then I could add the Kamai Empire into it. And just so you guys know, the alternate future of the world is going quite nicely along. It's well, actually, it it is very difficult to make it, but now look this. Honduras has been defeated, and look at that, fully a full annexation. Now, Guatemala is thinking of making the Cent Repub Empire of Central America, I'm going to say that, just because I can. And now they are going to invade Nicaragua. They are beginning to move from their entire front, which is pretty stupid idea because they don't have that much of an empire but they just need to make it through to Honduras where they can just pass through all, with the only obstructions being civ civil unrest but now the pushing uh, have been more concentrated on the east coast of Nicaragua and BAM and also now on the west coast it was it takes way too long for their army to just move up here through this thing gap all the way over here. You know, I I know that, but you know, now they are moved all the way back unnoticed. And then they are just taking this their only source of uh, water. I I'm, I'm it's not, but you know, it's their only large body of water that is visible on a map, on this map specifically. Now look at this Honduras. Has no Nicaragua has been completely taken over. There we go. Now it is now it's Costa Rica's turn to get absolutely demolished. So you know they are basically just going to breeze through there because it, it's only the civilians who are going to do anything. They don't have a an army last time I checked, and I checked. I think it was like three months ago, so I am definitely not wrong. In if you, if I am, I I never was. Just so you know, it's just a hallucination. Now Panama, they're going to be destroyed by the Central American Republic, Central American Empire, Empire of Central America. But you know they are pushing in, doing quite nice and dandy. Until 
Panama does a little bit of a mistake, concentrating their entire force over here instead of over there, and just pew 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 pew, and then they just get naval invaded. And guess where their capital is? It's over here, and bam, their capital's gone, and then they get bombed from the other side, and then bam. They had no way of winning that, they had no way of prolonging that, they would have been in naval invaded either way. But look at this, the Central American Republic, now, they're going to war with Mexico. They built up approximately 1 million m troops, then they go to war. Then I call in these pieces of thing, land. Then they go to war, they begin pushing up here, having quite a good time, cutting off the Yucatan, uh, Yucatan uh, Peninsula and uh, planning to take over that. They are pushing quite f fast and Mexico is scrambling their uh, resources, scram scrambling their army and uh, also armor to go fight the uh, Invading forces of uh, uh, the Central um, uh, Central American Empire, Empire of Central America, and also and so are the cartels. But you know they are just way too strong. They are naval invading, and they are also naval naval invading again. They are making a spearhead push f up there to distract from the spearhead push down here, which worked. Now they are connecting this here part, these here parts here, and then Mexico is getting pushed back over here. Now there here is a pretty decent front line. No, here is not. And then bam, they get flanked. Now Mexico is debating if they should turn or not, but. You know, after they lose Mexico City, they they say, you know what, You're okay, you can take whatever land you want. They decide to take exactly this much. You see, that much land. That that's quite a, that's quite a lot of land. You know, for what consists of Central America, it's it's a lot of land, man. I think they may just double in size, maybe in tri triple, I don't really know. And this, and then they also made a little bit of a puppet, right here. Just one puppet, so that they could easily control it. They don't want any big puppet, and well, there. Mexico has now been freed from war. This is the Central American Empire, or Empire of Central America. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.